Hi, welcome to another video by your Jim the Car Guy. Today we got a 2005, it's a Dodge Caravan. Um, the complaint, the customer complaint is that they, they drive the vehicle and they feel like a, when they take their foot off the accelerator, it feels like a dragging, like as if the vehicle is starting to slow down. Uh, and if they keep their foot off the accelerator, the vehicle will slow down and come to a stop. Um, they talk about on the highway that they have a, a, a shaking type feeling in the uh, in the steering wheel. So uh, let's find out what's going on. We'll lift it up and we'll take a look at it and we'll figure out what it is and get this job repaired. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like what I'm doing, give me a big thumbs up. Okay, let's lift it up and uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, we got the vehicle up in the air, and uh, there is a drag on it. Um, the front wheels spin nice and freely, the back wheels feel pretty tight. Um, when you try to uh, turn them, they, it takes a lot of force to get it to turn. So we're going to take the wheels off and let's take a look in the back and, and see what's going on. Okay, now that we got the wheels off, this one here is extremely tight. The other side, I'm going to show you what's going on here. These are the brakes for the opposite side. This is the passenger side. And I can see here that the parking brake is staying applied. You see that, that lever right there? That lever is actually pushed out. This, this stop pin right here is supposed to be up against that shoe right there. So what I know is that the, uh, the parking brake is staying applied for some reason. So now we're going to uh, get the other side off and we're going to check these cables and uh, I'll bring you along. Okay, let me show you what we find here. This is un underneath the vehicle, obviously. This is the uh, parking brake cable that comes from the front of the vehicle, uh, from up inside the passenger compartment. And this cable here, as, uh, as you can see right in here, it is releasing all the way. So that cable is working properly. What I'm finding is that these other cables here are not releasing all the way. So let me uh, let me show you uh, what's going on. Okay, what we've narrowed it down to is that this cable here is not releasing. This cable right in here the one to the right rear wheel, so we're going to be replacing both rear, uh, both rear cables. And it's still partially applied. One other thing I'm going to show you too, we're going to be replacing these wheel cylinders here because when you pull back this rubber boot here, and fluid leaks out, the wheel cylinders are no good. Whenever you have a, a parking brake cable that stays applied, it's always good to check to make sure because these cylinders overheat and they wind up leaking. So you're better off replacing it now than, uh, than doing the job and having to come back in a month or two and have it leaking someplace else. So uh, let me call up, get the cables for it, and I'm going to show you how to change them. I'm going to change both rear cables because this one is staying uh, applied also. So uh, let me order the parts for it and then we'll come right back. Right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean off all of this, uh, this brake dust that's inside here. Get yourself a can of brake cleaner and just spray it very lightly, not too, not too fast with the spray because you want to get all this stuff washed off of here without breathing it, hopefully. Right, wash it all down. to remove the brakes. Now I'm going to pinch this uh, this brake line off right here so we don't lose any brake fluid while we're in here uh, taking out that cylinder. So you're going to put a, a pair of um, vice grips on the line and just pinch it off very lightly. They make a special tool for this but vice grips works just perfectly. Not too tight because you don't want to damage the line. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to remove 
um, everything in the east side here. Right, first thing we're going to do is let's take off that clip that's inside here that holds the, uh, the cable down. I just push it down like this and just rotate it a little bit to get it off. That spring, I always use a pair of vice grips um, to get the springs off. You can use locking vice grips to clip it onto the spring itself here and pull it out. Or what I prefer using is a pair of uh, cutting pliers. Hold it and just pull it out, and you unhook it from the uh, from the, the shoe itself. It's just a little hook on the end of the spring. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the uh, the spring over here to the adjuster. I'll show you where that is. That's this spring right in here. We're going to take this. We're going to lift the spring up and off, and take that out. vice grips on here. I do like using vice grips because it holds it pretty tightly. And then we're just going to take that spring off and just relocate that to the side for now. We're going to take off our adjuster here. Remove that. We're going to need that again too. I always open this up here and take off your, your star adjuster and then turn it all the way back down because we're going to have new uh, new brake pads on, uh, new brake shoes on here also. Alright, turn it all the way in and then we just relocate that for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a tool like this to take off this these springs right here. If you don't have this, you can probably get in here with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers like this and you hold your hand around the back like that and you can take it off. It is a little more difficult doing it like this, but I'm sure you could do it. Alright, so hold your spring in the back, push this in and just turn it until you feel it release. Alright, we're going to take that, take that to the side. Same thing on this one here. Push it and turn it over and take it off. Right. We're going to take off the uh, springs down here. Again, use the vice grips to remove it and relocate that. And we're going to take this off of here, like this. And we're going to take that spring off. And we're going to put that. We're going to take out this piece here. We'll just relocate that for now. This sheet comes off. And that's it. We're all done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this, this cable from the vehicle and we're going to replace it with a new one. And the way you do that is. Okay. They have these little clips right here that hold it in place. We're not going to be reusing this cable, so what I always do is just get underneath it with the screwdriver and twist it out. Like that. and break them off. And then we'll do the same thing. We're going to rotate the cable around. There's three of them on there. So we'll rotate it around. We'll break all three off of that. This, this piece here off because we're going to need to use this again. And now that cable is free. And we'll take it out like that. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side over here. So let's go underneath there. I'll show you how the, that goes. Underneath the truck. It's the exact same setup underneath here. It has these little clips here that hold it in place. Get underneath it, twist them, and snap them off. And there should be three of them here also. And the 
there's the third one. Snap that off too. Okay, now that cable is ready to come out of the body, but we have to disconnect it from right up in the front, right here. So I'm gonna need two hands for this. I gotta pull this cable and get it out through that hole right there, so let me do that. Okay, and that cable comes right out. And then, we'll come back up top. And now the cable just comes right out, like this. And I just want to mention, before you put the new cable in, measure it up to make sure it's the correct cable. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the wheel cylinder and replace it with a new one. Now, in the back of the wheel cylinder, you've got the connection here. Let's get some light. We're going to disconnect the line right here, and we're going to take out those two 10 millimeter bolts here and here that hold it in place. So let's break that line loose and take those screws out and remove the wheel cylinder. And you disconnect the line, be careful. You don't want to twist it. You want to make sure it turns and comes out which it does, in this case. Sometimes it won't, and if it doesn't turn, then you take out your other screws, hold the line, and you rotate the wheel cylinder off. Okay. Now we're gonna grab our 10 millimeter socket, and we're gonna take that, uh, those 10 millimeter bolts off the back of the wheel cylinder. cylinder screws don't lose them because you're going to need to reuse these again when we put the new wheel cylinder on. Once you've got the cylinder disconnected, you get behind it with a screwdriver and just pry it and it comes right off. Again, the reason that we're changing it is because when you open up this booth here, fluid should not leak out of there, but it does, as you can see, it's dripping out of there. So, all right, let's grab the new wheel cylinder and uh, we'll put this back together. Like everything, before you put it together, always check it to make sure that you have the correct cylinder because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten the wrong ones all right, everything looks good. So now we're going to uh, reinstall this cylinder onto the car. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to put it through here first. And we're going to catch our brake line in there first before you do anything else. Once the line is caught, doesn't not tight, just caught. Then we can put our uh, screws back into the wheel cylinder. And screw them in by hand again. And before you tighten anything, catch everything at once, and then you can tighten it up.
port, tighten the wheel cylinder. Tight. I always use a quarter inch ratchet because I don't want to use too much force and break it by accident by using a 3 8 alright? Now we can tighten up our brake line in the back of the cylinder. Alright, nice and tight. Now what I normally do, Open up the wheel cylinder just that little bit so I can push these in. Push them all the way in and then tighten your wheel cylinder up. They'll come out a little bit, but they'll stay in pretty well. All right, next thing we're going to do after we have a wheel cylinder put back on is we're going to go back underneath here and we're going to restore our new brake cable. Now, remember what I said. Before you put anything back together, match them up and make sure they're the correct ones because uh, the first set they sent me was the wrong one. All right, so now we're going to measure those up and we're going to reinstall that cable. install the cable is we're just going to reverse the procedure when we took it out. I'm going to try to show you this the best I can, but it may be a little difficult. What we're going to do first is we're going to get the cable back through that hole right up there first, and then we'll pull the cable through here. to do one hand so I'm going to put this down for a minute okay get some light over here now once you've got that cable through then you just thread it through until this piece pops in and you push it through. We may have to pull it through. And then we're gonna snap those clips in there and we're gonna reconnect this piece up into the front right here. The way you do it is just pull this as tight as you can and you hook it in there. So let me do that and then we'll come right back. Okay, and once we have this cable back in here and we have those clips back in there, we're gonna go up to the front and put this back Take on. our cable. And we're going to put it right back through here. And when you push it, you'll feel it snap in place, and you'll hear it, and then you're back in. All right? All right, let's continue. Okay, now, before you put anything back together, you're going to lubricate every place that the brake pad touches. You're going to lubricate. And it's a special brake grease made specifically for, for brakes. A little bit of grease and everything will slide nice and freely. Okay. Now in this particular case we are going to change all the hardware because the, uh, the vehicle was driven with the parking brake applied. It's a good idea to change everything because chances are everything overheated pretty badly. Always match your brake shoes up to make sure that they're the correct ones because uh, you never know when somebody's going to give you the wrong item. That's good. That's good. So we're okay. 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to switch this clip over that's on the, uh, on the brake shoe. And the way you do that is you just have this little this C clamp on here. Take this C clamp off, get underneath it with a screwdriver, and just pry it back. Hold your finger over it because it will come flying out of there. You've got that clip out. You're going to take you're going to take your replacement shoe that you're going to put it back together with. Make sure you have it lined up the way it is coming off. You're going to take this piece here and put it onto the new shoe. Then you're going to take that piece out right there and you're going to put that through the back of the new shoe again, like that. Take your clip that you held your fingers on and didn't lose, and then you push that back down. Now, if you can't do it with, uh, if you can't do it with a screwdriver, use a pair of pliers to squeeze that clip back on. Be careful; it doesn't go flying, because your chances are you'll never find it once it flies. All right, nice and tight. It's down all the way. So that's, that's all set now. Okay, now we know that this one was up in the front right here. So that's where it's going to go. Okay, next thing we're going to do is let's open up our hardware kit and get our springs out. You want to be careful. You don't want to lose any of this stuff. So dump it into the brake box so you don't lose it. pins. Make sure that the pins that you're getting to replace it are the same length, very important. Put the new pin in. Same thing up in the front. Replace that with your new pin also. Now obviously these are going to be trash. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our new spring, put our end caps on it. We just push right in place like that, and they're ready to go. Okay. And we're going to take this shoe that was up in the front here, and we're going to reattach this up in the front here. And we're not going to tighten anything yet, we're just laying it in place. Spring and lock it down. Push it over the top of the pin and you rotate it. Make sure the pad goes. When you push this in, it goes over the top like this and you rotate it so it locks just like that. Alright? So now we have our one shield held in place. That's about where we're going to stop right there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our second shoe, which we know goes like this on here. We're going to put our parking brake lever back on because we know our parking brake lever goes in here like this. That we know. So we're going to install this back onto here where it previously came off. And the way you do that, it's a little bit tight to get it back on, but if you hold this piece here, Get a pair of vice grips. You're able to pull this cable back so you can get it on there. It does take three hands. I'm going to get my assistant to help me and we'll come right back. Alright, thank you. Okay, now before we put this back together here, 
a little bit of lubricant on here. My assistant is shy, he doesn't like to be filmed, so that's why I turned that off. A little lubricant on here. So we're going to put this back on where it came off, right here. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky for you because it does slide a little bit. Um, so I'm going to show you how I usually do it. Take your spring, put your spring in here, like that. Take your other shoe, that actually goes right on here also. Hook the spring on there. Okay. Then, I take the, this piece, put it in here. And now this goes in here, like that. Put our spring through the shoe. Okay. And then we're going to lock it down with this one here. And this will hold everything in place while we do all the other work. Okay. Make sure it's locked in. And now we can put everything else back together. So we have our our rod across here, our park and brake lever is through the hole over here where it belongs, our spring is on the bottom. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the spring on the very bottom down here and that'll, that'll hold everything tight. Again, you can use vice grips or you can use cut and pliers, just don't pull it really hard and snap the thing. Put it in there like that. Now, everything is fairly almost put back together the way it's supposed to be. Next thing we're going to do, install your uh, adjuster to where it belongs, like that. And push your shoes together, because the wheels are going to probably pull it out just a little bit. And we're going to grab our longer spring, this one, hook it back through here. And now again, you either use vice grips or you use cut and pliers, whatever works for you. Push it in and hook the spring back inside where it belongs. So now our spring is on. Next thing we're going to do, remember that little clip that we previously took off here? We're going to hook that back onto the cable where it belongs, like that. Almost done. And the last thing we're going to do is reinstall our self-adjuster. Hooks underneath the bottom of the star adjuster and it hooks into the spring, into the shoe. Like that. And then we're going to reinstall that last spring that we took off. You can, again, you can use either you can use cotton pliers or you can use whatever works for you. Vice grips off the line. Make sure everything is pushed back together. Now I'm going to bring you over. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks when it's finished. I know it's a pain in the rear end trying to get those springs and everything in there, but if you get frustrated, just walk away and come back later on to it. 
All right, we have our spring underneath the bottom here where it belongs. Our, our, our spacer for the parking brake is underneath here. Spring is on here where it belongs. This is through the, uh, the parking brake lever, is through the, the rear shoe as it's supposed to be. Our spring is on the top here and here. This little clip is connected back on. Our self adjuster is inside the, um, inside the, uh, you can see right there, it's inside the, the star adjuster where it's supposed to be. And that spring is connected down where it's supposed to be here. That's it, we're all set. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust these brakes and um, obviously I'm going to have to resurface the, the drums first, but then we're going to put them back on here. We're going to bleed the brakes out and we're going to get this job wrapped up. We're going to go to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side and that's it, we'll be all set. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, drop me a line. I'll come right back and I'll show you how to, uh, to readjust those brakes now. Okay, and the way you adjust the brakes is you get, obviously put the brake drum on and then you come underneath the back over here and in the back over here you'll see this little slot right here. There's a little tiny uh, rubber cover right there. You pull that cover off and then you get in here with either a screwdriver or a, uh, a tool that's made to adjust it and you just adjust it like that. You can hear it click and you adjust it until the brake uh, drum spins with drag on it about one revolution. Now you can put the tire back on to do this, but I'm just doing this now just to show you with, uh, with the tire off. All right, and you should be able to get, well, as you can see, it's nice, it's loose now, but we're gonna adjust it until it has slight drag on it. That's how it should be. All right, don't adjust them too tight. Make sure they're uh, the one full revolution when you spin it. Okay, once you've got it adjusted, make sure you put your little rubber stopper back in here, like that, and that's it. You're all set. All right, and then we're gonna do the uh, bleed the brakes out, and we're gonna wrap this job up and uh, do the other side and get it out the door. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments? Drop me a line, be more than happy to talk to you about anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.